Hello my friend, was geht ab? This is Paul and today we want to talk about the first step in every workflow and that's organizing your photos and importing them to Lightroom. Yes, I know it's a little bit boring topic but um, I've been thinking about my workflow and what is the first step I always do. Uh, I felt like, hey, that's quite important because um, I've been doing photography now for four years and, and I remember in the first year it was a mess. Like, I've had no idea where my photos are, some PSD um, files were in this folder, the other one in this, I had no idea. So, and through the years of experience I feel like I am developed a system that is quite good and um, a lot of my photography friends using it as well. Then in the next video we will continue with the more fancy stuff, color grading and all these things. Stay tuned and let's get started. Alright guys, here we are. As you see I'm using Windows. If you use Mac that's not a problem. Um, the system I'm going to show you is, will be work either Windows or Mac. And as you see my Windows is in German as well. Sorry for that. Um, I just created a new folder so that I can create new folders in English. So, so the first thing I would do is a new folder and um, I will name it 2017. Why? You might have, it depends on your hard drive how big it is, but maybe you will have like two or three years on one hard drive. So we double click on it and create a new folder and I will name that one with a one and then um, photography and then you can do another one with um, videography and um, I don't know maybe another one with um, we can name it zero within business and um, yeah that's it these are my three basic folders and then maybe you can do another one with um, resources. Yeah, let's get started with these. Why do I use numbers? The reason for that is if you use numbers, um, Windows or I think also Mac will keep them in the order. That means resources is always on the same place, doesn't matter how much new photos you add and photography is always on the same spot. When you're entering the folder, you already know where photography is. So I will double click on photography and create a new folder and it's called one and then customers or paid depends what you like. Um, so in this folders I will add all the shootings I get paid for or the customer shootings. So no free stuff, no TFP shootings. Um, that's a different folder and I'm going to create this one now. Um, TFP. And then maybe a third one with um, friends and family. And you can add as much photos as you want. I will start with TFP. And here we create folders with the names of the model. So um, I don't know, <laughs> let's say I'm a model and I have the first shooting. I will say Paul Hoffman. And then the second one is, um, I don't know, Car. Um, Kinski, <laughs> uh, whatever it is, um, you get the system. So I will have at the end of the year probably like 20, 30 folders, depends on how much you do. And the big advantage of it is they are all at the same spot always because you're using the numbers. But the biggest advantage of it is if you use Lightroom. All right, guys, I just added two more folders with um, some pictures in it of my two last shootings. And now we will get started with Lightroom. So uh, if you open Lightroom the first time, it will look like that. And we will just click on import. I clicked on the folder um, 2017, which we just created. And now we click on include subfolders. So what that will do is it will just add all folders that are under it. So if you do that straight away, you will import all the pictures. So back in Lightroom, you see what we did. So we because we created this clear structure of folders, we don't have to use the catalog or collections. We just use our folders, you know, like we created it perfectly. So and we have everything organized and we don't need anything else for the moment. 
So the last question is how do I select the images I want to edit? How I do it is basically I double click on the picture so that I get the um, nice view of it and then I just click through it and every time I see a picture I really like I press P. P adds a flag. A flag is really really good because you have the filters where you can only show pictures with a flag. So um, if I go through it and I don't know just select um, two or three pictures this one is gray, this one is gray, this one is gray, this one is gray. All right, you got the point. And I click on filter and on this icon now, you will get only the picture with the flag. And then I go through it and add one star with a one key on your keyboard for the really good ones. And the ones I really want to edit right now straight away. For example, let's say this one and this one. And now we can just click on this star and we will get our two pictures we just selected. And normally for me, after shooting, it's like maybe five pictures with one star. So I'm going to edit five pictures. And um, sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more, but there's no real strategy behind which picture is good or which isn't. I just follow my feeling. All right, guys, that's it again. A really short, really basic tutorial. Um, don't worry, next time we will go into the nice stuff, into the fancy stuff. Um, um, yes, yeah, stay tuned. If you like that video, if it helps you a little bit, let me know in the comments. And um, if you have any critique, any um, ideas for this channel, let me also know on the channel. And if you have a friend who is also interested in it, send it to him, you would help me with that. Thanks for everything and see you next time.